Hi guys, I'm Katherine Schwarzenegger. For this week's reader question, I have enlisted the help from a dear friend and celebrity manicurist, Tom Vacek, who is responsible for everyone's nails from Jennifer Lopez to Jennifer Aniston. So this week's reader question is from Sam on Facebook, and she asks, what is a fun day-to-night nail look that I can learn how to do at home? Perfect. Let's talk about it. That's easy. <laughs> We've got this. So this look is inspired by the nails we did on JLo for the AMAs. We needed a look that was perfect for not only the red carpet, but for her performance. And so this will translate perfectly for a daytime and nighttime look. This technique's also great uh, for refreshing an existing manicure by adding a little bit of glitz and glam. So we start first with a full coverage nude. Uh, my inspiration right now is kind of more of a 70s feel. So we're gonna take this kind of mauve tone. I'm actually playing off of the color you have on your lip, which I think is beautiful. And this color is called Mauveless. So we'll start by dipping the nail into the glitter, then using an old makeup brush to actually brush the glitter back onto the nail to get like a gradated ombre effect. And then we'll take a little bit of red and we'll just gild the tip of the nail. Now, if you have longer nails, for instance, for Jennifer, she had super long nails mm -hmm. because they had to be fierce for her yeah. performance. You can flip the nails over and actually polish the color underneath as well. Like a Louboutin. Like a Louboutin. We'll call it a flip side nail. And then you have red glitter, not only gilding the tip, but also on the, on the opposite Ooh, side. I love that. Very cool and chic. Very nice. I actually really love this color. It's so pretty. This is a great color because it's a full coverage nude, but it's soft and earthy and it just, it gives you kind of that bohemia effect. Yeah. What type of colors do you like mostly? Do you like neutrals or you like bold, bright colors? I actually only use nude colors when I'm doing my nails myself, which yeah. I only do in emergencies because I'm so bad at painting my own nails. So I'm watching you very carefully because I'm hoping that I can get better at it. I was gonna ask you, cause your shape is meticulous. My, my shape, perfect. I do myself. Okay. But when it comes to actually painting my nails, I it's mean, a I whole get polish story. everywhere. So like if I do a, a dark color, it's it's a bad situation on my nails. How about this? When I finish this nail, let's have you polish <laughs> your other hand. Okay, so he's forcing me to try this myself, which I'm not too happy about, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just for so you. We can get better at doing our nails at home. Your technique is good, young grasshopper. <laughs> Thank God. I'm actually not a, as bad as I thought. Not at all. I think they it's look because great. when I was a kid with the coloring book, I yes. was super good at coloring inside in the, lines. the lines. So this is mine. How's that? This is his. Can you tell the difference? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so when I'm taking the, my brush out of the polish, one of the things that I do is I wipe the brush away from me. This is going to fill one side of the brush with polish and not the other. So that way you have the right amount of polish for your nail. If it's a larger nail, I'll keep more polish on the brush. If it's a smaller nail, I'll use less polish on the brush. So does that make it easier so you don't have the overflow on the sides of the nail? Right, because sometimes when it's too thick yeah. and you put it and it touches the skin and it just floods yeah. all the way around the nail, this will help prevent that. Not a cute look. So I'm gonna start about two thirds of the way back on the nail, push the color towards the cuticle and then out on the tip. And then I'll do that on, the, on one side of the nail and then do that on the other side of the nail. Also, you gotta remember as you're polishing, the polish is starting to dry. So the more times that you brush through the polish, the more chance you have of it um, starting to get thick and streaky. So the least amount of times that you brush it, the smoother the overall finish will be. That's what happens to me when I do my at home. Yes. Pictures. It looks all weird. Yours look like glass. There's like no stroke to be found. Thank you. So sometimes with the thumb, due to the size, you'll have to double dip. So we'll do one side and then we'll go back into our polish. So what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna let both coats dry completely mm -hmm. and then we'll start adding the glitter one nail at a time. So we wanna add the glitter when the nails are dry or wet? Dry, because we're gonna apply a top coat for the glitter to stick to, one nail and then we'll dip it and then we'll brush it back. And then we'll apply a top coat to the next nail, dip it, so one nail at a time. So we let them dry completely, add a top coat, and then we're gonna dip the glitter. Correct. So for the next step, we're gonna use our top coat on one finger at a time. We'll polish one finger, 
Then we're gonna take just the tip of our finger and dip it into the glitter. And while the top coat's still wet, we're gonna use an old makeup brush. It's best to find one that's a little bit long and kind of soft, and we'll just spread the glitter back into the polish. Okay, let's see how we do this. It sounds very intimidating to me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll start first by applying the top coat to the nail. And the glitter we're using is like a rose gold glitter. This is like a rose gold glitter. You can see it's got a little bit of a, a rosy, coppery tint. There's a little bit of red in there. It picks up the tones in the color mm -hmm. as well as gives it a very fun and festive And look. is that the glitter that you use on JLo's nails? Yes. That exact glitter. That exact. This glitter has touched the digits of, of JLo. JLo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll apply our top coat and we're going to put it on a little bit thick because we want it not to dry immediately. And now we'll take just the tip of your nail and dip it into the glitter itself. Okay, so how far? Just up, almost to the finger, but not quite so the finger oh, so touches. It's, it's Literally like all... just the tip. Yeah. Go, go, go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to take our makeup brush and we're going to lightly Tom lightly so we're gonna put the top coat on dip and then I'm gonna brush it back okay. and then we go to the next the next the next and the best part about this look too is the more imperfect it is the more perfect it is because you don't want every nail to be like this exact same mm -hmm. you almost want it like the the glitter's been splashed across the nail and that's what gives you that gradated fade to it okay so, so for are you this ready to try hand, this on yourself I know, this is gonna be really intimidating okay. but I'm gonna try it myself here we go okay so I'll start with my pointer finger since that seems easiest. Perfect. And don't be afraid to put it on thick and quickly because this is mainly just to get the glitter to stick to the color. <laughs> so stressed out. Dip it in, grab your brush, and then just smear it back. Exactly. And then you can pull it back as high as you want. I usually try to go a little bit past the halfway point. Okay. Voila. So our next step, normally what I'll do is I'll take the towel and I'll just, I'll fold it like this and then just wipe off from underneath the nails. Once it's dry as two, you can simply wash your hands and all the glitter from underneath will come off. So the next step is we want to add a little bit of festiveness and a little bit of fierce by adding some red to the tip. So we're going to use uh, a bit of red glitter and just on the tip of the nail, we're gonna go through and just gild the tip. So super thin and small. And what this actually does, then it also brings out the red that's already in the glitter that we're using oh, to cool. give it more of an effect. So now last Beautiful. step is Last step top is coat. we'll clean up the glitter around and then we'll finish it with top coat. Perfect. Another little tip is uh, to make sure that you have like a dedicated brush for your glitter because it will be there forever it's never coming off it's never coming off okay so we're on the final step finally and we're going to do a top coat after we've cleaned up all the glitter off of my nails and what this is going to do this is going to seal and protect your design plus give it that high gloss shine you can also go in just right along the edge and actually kind of encapsulate the tip with your top coat as well, and that'll help smooth that, that little bit of roughness out and help the glitter last longer on your edges. Ta-da, JLo inspired nails. Thank you so much, Tom, for helping us do this. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys try this at home. It's a lot easier than it looks. And make sure you tune in for a new episode next week of Ask Cat. Bye.